It's been a long and wild past four years here at Timberlin. They're going through online school, hybrid, and changing our whole schedule this year, according to Dominic Salvo. Our teachers have a, f a few final words to say to us. Dear seniors, you hold a special place in my heart. I feel like I've cheered for you in the stands and helped motivate you and helped you to stay out of trouble sometimes. Your resilience has been monumental since you started four years ago, and I hope that resilience helps you no matter where you go after you graduate. I am so proud of how you found the strength inside yourselves to overcome great odds and still and make something of yourselves with grace and kindness. According to Cherry Boren, keep cooking, keep practicing with food, keep exploring food, and remember food is one universal thing that can bring everyone together. One, dream big, all right? Go out for your adventure and dream big. Number two, be kind, all right? Just be kind to everybody. And number three, don't be afraid to ask for help. As adults, we always ask for help. Um, my, the advice that I would give you as you guys are moving on would be to um, really just follow your dreams, find what your passion is, um, and go for it. Um, you know, don't be afraid to take some risks and um, work extremely hard. Um, because you can do whatever you set your mind to as long as you're passionate about it and you work extremely hard. Hi seniors, uh, just a little bit of advice. Uh, remember you are starting a new chapter in your life so don't let the past define you and make sure you find your people in whatever you do after high school and good luck. Focus on not being likable, although many of you are super likable, but just being a kind person, a kind-hearted person who works hard and uh, have a willingness to change as your life flows through because what you'll find four years, eight years, 12 years down the road is at heart you'll be the same person, but through that time and those opportunities and experiences, uh, you'll mature if you allow that to happen. And uh, you'll probably look back and think, wow, you know, what all these experiences have added up to is uh, a great, successful, positive uh, adult that contributes to their community. And uh, I can't wait to see that for many of you. So best of luck in your next endeavors. Uh, we'll be watching you and wishing you well and take care. According to Statista, a few ways to deal with separation is to allow yourself to feel your feelings, make the most of your remaining time together, let them know how you really feel. Offer them help. Celebrate it before you leave. Keep mementos of your friendship. Make a plan for your long distance friendship. I want to say great job getting through high school. In the future, just keep in mind that, you know, life's going to be tough. Just keep your head going through it and you'll wind up okay no matter how bad it looks like it's going to be. If you're going to college, I want you to go to class and stay organized. If you're going to work, I want you to go to work. Got to show up. It's real important. Got to go to work. Got to get paid. Um, intention, attention, and no tension. And what he meant by that was uh, he said, you know, you have a goal in mind. You have something you want to accomplish in your life. You have an intention. And the next thing is you, you want to put some attention on that thing. You practice. You put in time. You commit to, your, you commit to that activity. Um, and then you let go. Let God, let the universe, let whatever kind of organize and um, not have any tension don't worry about it just uh, keep putting some attention on there and keep maintaining that intention and hopefully uh, you'll find success in that activity according to the new york times leaving high school does not have to mean goodbye it can mean a new beginning too now back to the studio